Hey, what's going on? My name is Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. On this episode of Outside the Softbox, we're going to talk about the Panasonic Lumix G9 and some of the features that help me as a portrait photographer. I've shot with the Lumix system for about four years now, but the G9 is the first Lumix camera that's truly geared towards professional photographers. With a 20.3 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, amazing autofocus capabilities, and the ability to tether, is everything I look for in a professional camera. Additionally, the G9 has features like 6K photo mode, which helps you never miss another shot, and high resolution mode, which creates an ultra high res 80 megapixel image right in camera. I'll dive more into those features in future videos. One of my favorite features on this camera is the ability to charge the camera via the USB port. This is a really amazing feature to have if you're tethering in studio because every time you turn the camera off, as long as the tether cable's plugged in, your camera immediately starts charging. I've been on multiple shoots that have lasted well over six hours and I've actually never had to change the battery mid-shoot. Like many professional cameras these days, the G9 is equipped with the lighted top mount status LCD and dual SD card slots, which allows you to back up your data immediately or use it as overflow storage. It also has a fully articulating touch LCD screen, which makes it easy to view the screen in any position, or you can completely close the screen so it protects it when your camera's stored. Something I always look for in a camera body is the ability to quickly and accurately autofocus. This is something I've had trouble with other camera bodies in the past, especially at wide apertures. The G9 definitely doesn't disappoint in this department. With the face and eye detect autofocus mode, I nail focus on almost 100% of my portraits. The Lumix G9 has a ton of other features across both the photo and the video spectrum, but I just wanted to show you a few features that fit into my workflow as a portrait photographer. If you want to read up on everything this camera has to offer, click the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow Ready Light Media. And remember, don't be afraid to think outside the softbox.